we hear these myths. One is that manufacturing is not the cool, new, leading edge. And the other is that robots are going to take over our jobs. So when you go into a factory today, you know this, you go in, it's a whole different world. It is clean, it is bright, it is technology filled. And that is the message the Institute's trying to get out and to share with the public and change those perceptions, because I think that is our biggest barrier to filling the jobs that we have open today. So the Manufacturing Institute and Deloitte have been doing really the landmark study on the skills gap in manufacturing for over 12 years. Last year, we just updated the study and found that between 2018 and 2028, we'll have 4.6 million jobs we need to fill. 2.4 million might go unfilled because we don't have the people with the skills. And so that is the overarching challenge for us right now in the sector. That has an over $2 trillion effect to the economy if we don't close the skills gap. And so when you look at that, what's the economic impact on a region or locally or to the company and to the country, it's significant. Technology simply elevates the role of humans. And what we've been focused on is ways to make our technology more accessible, more exciting to work with, and we're beginning to see some really incredible automation capabilities. I mean, who would, who would have known three years ago that we would have a machine capable of examining a jumble of artifacts and picking out the one that's needed in the next step, yeah. figuring out how to move and manipulate it. All of that is within reach. And again, it gives people the chance to step back, play a different kind of role that's with right. the technology, and really enhance productivity. Well, that's why they call it the fourth industrial revolution. A, we've done a giant transformation like this before, and I think Siemens has been at the center of all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but also, we are evolving and we're learning new skills, and people are able to work longer. And that's exciting for the employees. I mean, what I hear from employees is that they're excited about what they're learning. And one 30 year veteran told me um, they learned more in the last five years than they had learned in the previous 25. I mean, that's what the software and what the, the automation coming to the floor is doing. We found there are really only two things needed to be successful in this economy curiosity and initiative. That's right. If people will take the initiative to go learn new things, if they're curious about what's coming, really the future is open to them. Because we're in a world of lifelong learning now. It is no longer, I always say, it's, it's no longer a world of education as a destination. I am done and then I go on to my work career. And it's, it's not like that. We constantly need to be open to learning those new skills to keep up, but also to challenge us and to grow.